So guys, let's do a little bit of recap. Yesterday, what we did, we try to understand what is Jenkins. Okay. Then we try to understand what is CIO also. Then we discuss about why Jenkins we need it. Then we discuss about other rules uh, apart from the Jenkins. Then we discuss about how Jenkins works. Right. Uh, then we discuss about Jenkins uh, installations and configuration. Right? And then we set up a Jenkins. And after that, we started understanding the terminology uh, around the Jenkins. Yeah. After that, we got into that basic workflow. Workflow of Jenkins. So I think this was the topic which we covered last time. Correct all of you. I think one more topic we covered. Jenkins triggers. Correct me. Correct. Yeah. So anyone have any questions so far? Uh, I have a question to Mukaram. Actually, yesterday's recording we didn't receive it. Anybody has received? Uh, yes, I have uh, provided one link in the chat so that you can find the recording. Uh, but it no, is not that link. Yeah, it's already removed. Oh, okay. yeah, it's not accessible. Though. OK, so okay. I think team will check later. Any other questions, guys? Anyone have before we get started? <coughs> Uh, Rajesh, uh, just yeah. one question. Like mm -hmm. yesterday, you provided the PPM key or the PPK key, right? So if we want to generate, so how do we do that in future like that? Uh, in AWS, it's there. No? You can have AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. They will, you can generate those stuff. Oh, okay. So this lab infrastructure is coming from AWS. So that's where I'm getting it. I'm not doing anything. Oh, okay. Okay, so can I move on, guys? All of you? Yeah. So guys, today we will spend time with integration. So let me remind you. So, first day, what we did, we did discuss about this integration. All of you remember that, right? Correct. All of you, yes. So, basically, here, we need to set up this integration. That means Jenkins need to connect with it. Jira. Jenkins need to be connected with the Git, which we did it already. Today we'll do the Sonar queue. Maven we did in the last class. JUnit, Var, Nexus, Ansible, Selenium, Jekoko. So all these integrations will do that. By the way, there are hundreds of tools available and integrations are limitless. It's up to you to visualize the, you know, integration uh, scope. Okay. So can, I, <clears throat> can I start all of you? Yes. Okay. So let's get started. <clears throat> so now, what I'm doing right now? First thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. So first thing, what I need is. I need. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got a little bit issues. <clears throat> First thing, so I need uh, one machine where I can start the Jira. Okay, so I need to set up a Jira. I need to set up a Sonar queue. I need to set up Nexus. The tools I need to set it up. So I will have these machines for myself, and that is um, just um, so Jenkins server. This is the one. 
80. This is the Jenkins server. Okay. This is the machines where <clears throat> I will have all sort of it. Okay, this is the machines I will use this. So, <clears throat> so how many of you have a knowledge on Docker? How many of you? Anyone? Hello, I'm asking. Yeah, no knowledge. No knowledge. OK, so here I will not teach you Docker, but you know what? I'm trying to learn uh, run all these applications on Docker. Powered by Docker. Now, why is that so? Because if I traditionally manual way if I set up Jenkins, uh, sorry, Jira, Sonar Cube Nexus, probably it will take half day. And it'll consume lots of time and will waste lots of time. But using a container technologies like a Docker, uh, basically it is a very fast process. Within a few minutes only, all these applications will get up and run. Okay, so let me first get a Jira, Sonar Cube, and Nexus, and then we'll try to discuss about the integrations part. Okay, so one by one, uh, let's get started. So let me log in first to this machine. And SSH hyphen I Rajesh Mumbai PM. And now this machine is sent to us. Okay. So yes. Now I'll become a root. Docker PS is not running. I was expecting this to run. Let me see. Yeah. So. Which one? So system PTL. Start Docker. I'm starting this Docker, okay. And now Docker is right. OK, so. Cool. So first thing I will run the Jira applications. So how do you get an image? So Docker Hub Jira. So if I set up a manually, it will take more time. But using this, you can run very fast. So you can use this software also. And here you have a command for it. OK, this is the Jira command, Jira Docker command, which is running. So here I'm creating a volume. And that volumes I'm mapping with this one. So that's OK. So probably some of you are not comfortable with the Docker. Don't worry about it. Just you can take this as like add ons like using Docker. I am running the container applications. OK, so that it will save some time of us. So I am doing it. Uh, Jenk uh, Jira, usually it's run default port 8080. So that is a one thing. So you see that within a minutes, your applications will be up and running. And whatever the applications I'm setting up today, we all use the same applications. OK. So you don't have to worry about it. You will not do these steps, so don't need to remember that. It's just you think end of few seconds, you will get applications up and running with the help of uh, Docker. That is a thing. So. 
that is the output. done so jira is up and running i'll validate it uh, using docker ps and grab this jira here it is so it's running can i access that so i said 8080 port which is we need this is the this is the jira now Jira is up and running, but I have to set it up also. So I'm setting up for some getting a trial license and all for the demo. So this is also needed for for you. OK, I am getting the trial license for 30 days. You need a Jira license for the trial period and all. And generate license. This is the license I got it. Yes. Refresh it once. So not a DNS supported, so it takes some time. Yeah. So license, you see, I got it. Don't worry, you don't have to this. You don't have to do this step. Only I am doing it for all of us. Jira is only one. Password, I'm putting Rajesh123, OK? And done. So guys, this is the Jira. The one I set it up. In front of you and username is Rajesh and password is Rajesh123. So far, so good. Are you comfortable? Yes, Rajesh. Now, next tool which I'm going to set up is Soran. So Senarq is running with a 9000 port. So how do we how do we run it? So Sonarq, I think I have a VMs already running. So let's use that opportunity. It's for another session. So by luck, we have a running. So it will save four or five minutes for setting up with the Docker. Though Docker also it's pretty fast by the way. OK. Sonar cube. Here is a here is a sonar cube. And this is the address. Oh, so let me log into Sonar Cube server. So exit. And sonar. Enter. I'm going to start it because it's from previous session. So this server is still available. So we can use this. CD, then. And Linux. And so that's all. So Sonar Cube also we got it. So how do you access Sonar Cube? The port number is 9000 port. And this is the. Let's wait for a few seconds. Let's just take some time. Here it is. So username for Sonar Q, I must share with you. That is the problem. The username uh, is admin and password is admin dollar one two three. I will try it out before giving it to you. Wonderful. So this is a sonar cube. So we got a sonar cube also up and running. Jira also it's being configured here. It will take few seconds. Almost ready. And next one is Nexus. So guys, so far so clear. Any questions? Any doubts? All of you. Hello. 
am audible to all of you yes sir. yes right yeah okay so any questions guys so by the way a uh, jira how many of you have used i have used before jira yeah. Yeah. i'm assuming most of us because uh, you must have at least few or so experience you might have worked with a few companies one or another company of course they must be using jira okay sonar cube i am not that sure because maybe some of you are in a programming some of you are not so it depends on okay but don't worry about that i will teach you the each steps okay and uh, nexus how many of you have worked with nexus why we use it yes, no knowledge so nexus we oh, use I'm this for storing the packages archiving the see here look at the flow packages archive means storing you can say it's a place where we can store the package in the git we store the source code in the nexus we store the packages here it can be other tools also like artifact who all works in the same way okay uh, you want to correlate nexus with something so nexus with play store i mean every day you guys are using play store correct yeah? yes sir. yeah so you can compare nexus is a private one for the organization play store is a public one for everyone brand so like that okay ansible here no tools is required coding is required so i'll show you selenium also and jet so now let me get the nexus so where do we get the nexus so again i will try using a docker way because docker way it is in little faster so i'll exit this clear this i'll log into that another machine and here sudo docker ps yeah now i'll go and set up a nexus so can i go and set up a nexus so docker hub and this is the image which we have and i'm using this image here it is this command will do the things so nexus is running in the default port which is 8081 okay you see that so i'm running this command it's a small package don't worry in a second it will be done okay so nexus installation is done magically with the top almost done Ajesh, so what do you see? I don't have any knowledge about the Docker way. So Docker is a people say that it is a container like where we have a list of plugins or something. Can can you give some yeah. in some what is Docker like? How how it, it help us doing this course or how it? Yeah. Yeah. Something or some yeah. some line of sure. Sure. So Nexus is up and running. The eighty eighty one four. And this is the. This is the nexus. Just wait for a few seconds. Automatically, it should come. I'll validate also. So, okay. So now, guys, within a few seconds, with the help of Docker or maybe previous setup only. we got all the tools now you don't need to set up all this tool we you will be user integrator okay for this particular server okay, don't so don't pump, get uh, scared for that the username is admin and password is located at this one now the question is how do we get it so doc uh, docker Docker exec move exec container ID 
four. And what is the password? Password is. And look at the password. OK, OK, is there. Did you see this here? Yeah. Sign. Set the password ADMIN123. ADMIN123. So I reset the password, OK. And done. That's all. So your access is also ready. So ADMIN. ADMIN one two. You need this information, okay? So remember, Sonar Cube is this one. Uh, Jira is this one, and Nexus. So guys, almost all the tools we got it. So are you comfortable so far, all of you? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. We'll start the integration. So again, I'm repeating multiple times. Many people, when they see new tools, they get confused. Don't worry about that. These tools will be installed by someone else, but you need to integrate it. You need to become a user of it. OK, so that is a thing. Now there was one question about. What is Docker, correct? Who has asked this question? Yeah, it's me, Rajesh. Yeah. So honestly speaking, uh, it's very difficult to define few lines because uh, it's very, you know, one line if I say and if you don't understand, it will not make any sense. But uh, yesterday I have given you my link to YouTube uh, recorded. You have it, right? Correct? Uh, if possible, can I share once again? Uh, yeah, it's in day one dot so everything you have uh, notes itself. So here it should be see here this one. Okay. So day one dot text. Got it? Hello? Yes, yes, Rajesh. Okay. For time being, I'll give you a little bit perspective so you'll find the interest. So earlier, how we were running application where? So earlier in 20 years before, we were running application in physical servers. Correct? Now from last 20 years, where we are running applications? Where? Physical servers. No, 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 we don't run. We run in a virtual server. On premise, on premise. Yeah, premise. Virtual server, VMs we call it, right? Correct now? Agree? Yes, sir. But last four or five years, we are not running application in a physical server. We are not running an application in virtual server also. Though I am showing the demo in the virtual server, but in real, in the production, we don't run it in the virtual server. Then you'll ask me, Rajesh, where we are running? We are running in a container. Okay. So now you will ask me, Rajesh, what is a container? So that's a very long answer. I will not give you, but I will ask you to look at my recorded videos. So that will help. But now the question is okay. So physical machine, then virtual machine, then container. So how do you get a VMs? That's a question. So we have orchestrated tool. Which are the orchestrated tool? So we have AWS. We have. I am using for this lab. Google Cloud, Azure. We are using VMware. Have you used the VMware? No. Yeah. V V V Spare. All these things. Many products are there, by the way. Tens of products are there. So these are the platform using that we get a virtual machines. Correct. I am getting all these virtual machines you see in front of my screen here. These all are virtual machines. Where I got it? AWS. But if you use the locally also, I don't have install this new laptop. So virtual box or VMware, you will have it. Some of you must be using it actually. It's not new technology. It's very old. Correct now? 
all of you yes sir yes. yeah so now the question is how do you get a container so you get a container powered by docker so who manages the container docker let me understand what let me tell you here aws gc azure cloud vmware is a cloud platform basically hypervisor manages the vms hypervisor so there are so many hypervisor in the software this is the cloud platform orchestrator for vms but hypervisors so aws also in built they are using some hypervisor i don't know gc also using azure also using vmware hypervisor we know that vmware workstation vsphere and all kind of thing correct so here docker is managing the container so what i did just to save time i use the docker i run the docker with jira run the docker with nexus within a second i got everything application up and running i didn't have to struggle for this installation that installation this configuration that configuration you will also lose the interest actually in this demo so at a high level did you understand that what is a, a docker docker manages the container and container where we run applications nowadays for many reasons for benefiting for saving a cost for speed the one which you saw right now and many things make sense uh, okay so rajesh it means that like when you run that command okay like for uh, sonar cube so what mm -hmm. are the related using that command the command will internally do something like that it install the uh, sonar cube in your in your system and uh, check all the setups which is required mm -hmm. okay yes so everything. everything everything apart from you doing downloading exe file then yes. clicking install next 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 it's all yes. done by a single command that's what you are saying yes yes every okay. yeah everything i didn't have to do you saw that i did not do anything yeah, correct now you will say hey rajesh i want to orchestrate i want to manage thousands of containers so that is where you need a kubernetes okay just like aws you can put go and create a thousands of vms okay so same way kubernetes can orchestrate the container with the help of docker multiple clusters so you should know you must know docker and kubernetes uh, it's important because if you know laptop now from last 20 years we are using vms so if you know cloud cl platform then you should know docker kubernetes and all without that you cannot run application in in today's world from last 4 5 years we are running only in the docker only in the container okay okay so back to the topic uh, so we got all the setup done now integration is pending with the jenkins any questions so far all of you hello no rajesh okay so guys you tell me when i integrate jira with jenkins what kind of work i am expecting you tell me Uh, ticket creation and that workflow. Wonderful. So we'll go with only one case because we don't have a time for each and every cases. It's just for I'm I'm doing everything just for helping you to visualize the scope of integration with Jenkins. Uh, so yeah, once you do for the productions and all, there are lots of checklist which you need to follow. Okay, so as you said, what is the huge cases with Jenkins and Jira? so the moment the build is failed please understand the moment the build is failed it should go and create one ticket and assign to someone is that right uh, huge cases for all of us yes 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 yeah so now i will write one heading jira integration with jenkins okay so this is the thing so first thing what i am going to do guys i'll write in the steps and one more thing from here onwards you have to focus why 
because I am going to ask you to do the same thing. All the access I have given it to you, super access, okay, admin access. You will do that. So step number one, okay. First, create a project. Create a project in Jira, okay. Step number two, create a job in Jenkins. How to create a job in Jenkins? You know that. Step number three, install Jira plugin. Step number four, configure Jira plugin. Step number five, use Jira plugin in the job. Now guys, install Jira plugin. This is a one time activity. You will not do multiple time. Why? Why? Uh, because today we all are using same Jenkins server. OK, so last session we all use the different different Jenkins server, but that was not a realistic scenarios. Jenkins server has to be only one and we will add a nodes more actually. But because we were having first session, so I gave a privileges to each one of you to do your own way. But today we will have a teamwork actually. <clears throat> so we will work as a team. So we will use one Jenkins server, but our own nodes in future. Now nodes, I hope you have you have not <coughs> sorry, you have not forgotten the concept of node agent demo. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. So yes, we will all work in this server, and that server is this one. What is the username password? So Rajesh, Rajesh one two three. Okay. So guys, this I will do that in front of you, installing the plugin. But 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 this you have to do your own. Don't use my configuration. And this does. So these are the five steps. Now you will say Rajesh, do you have any uh, um, steps for the blogs or stuff like that? So let me check this out because I don't remember. Uh, yeah, it's there. So it's written last year only. I'll validate once. OK, so this is the tutorial. So here you have all this. See, this is the plugin installations. This is a uh, this is configuration. This is configuration. This is uses. This is the uses. I'll show you the demo now itself. So guys, particularly if you have understood the pseudo code, can I show you the demo? Yes. Hello. Guys, are you now audible? Yeah, Rajesh. Yeah, yeah. OK, so guys, I'm going to Jenkins. Here it is. All of you have access in the notes. I'll share with you. Don't worry about that. And I'm going to create a project. OK, now this project I'll go for the basic. Uh, I will not complicate too much here. I will request you to do not complicate yourself also. Basic software development. All of you go for it. Now Scrum has a different structure. Kanban has a different structure. I don't want you to get lost. Basic software and select what is a name? I will create a project with my name. RAJ is a key. It's in caps. Why I'm highlighting it? You will re remember. You will uh, come to know. But you please remember, Raj is a key in capital. Rajesh is a project name. And submit. So guys, you see that here I created a project. Simple. I didn't do anything. My project is created. So if you click on here, Rajesh is here and Rajesh has a no issues right now. Like that, you can create a more project, create a more project. Simple. OK, so this step number one is done. Are you having any doubts here? No. OK, now guys, I will go to Jenkins. And. 
I will log into the Jenkins. Uh, why is it not coming? Okay. Get the IP address correctly. 223, correct? Yes, correct. Maybe it's not running. So I started the server in the morning light. So it could be that reason. No problem. I will run. So guys, anyone remember that? What is the command for starting the Jenkins? Is that correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. System control. Yes. Yeah. So I started for all of us. Okay. I use this Jenkins now. And username is Rajesh and password is Rajesh12. So guys, this machine, I logged it. Please remember, don't change the password because we all are using the same machine. So if you change the password, it will create a problem for other people. Okay, so now guys, remember that here Rajesh is there. All of you. Now what you will do because we are working as a team, 30 people are in this room right now. Don't start creating a job here. What you should do? You should create your folder. folder. Correct now? So that way we will not fight with each other. Others will keep fighting. This is a major issue in the team. Uh, in fighting issues. Hey, why did you do this? Why you do this? No, you should not do that. So Rajesh is the folder for myself. Likewise, you will create a folder for yourself also. How to do that? You know that. So I'm going to create a new item. This is just for the demo. Jira. Freestyle project. Click OK. OK. But you know what? I don't want to configure all this stuff. From scratch, I'm very lazy person. I'm very lazy person. So I'll go back. And this Jira got created, I will delete this. So I have one job already configured. Can I copy this whole configuration? And I can save my time again. So yes, let me do that. New item, write a Jira. But don't click this one, guys, this time. Go and scroll to the bottom sections. Can you see this here? Copy from? Yes. So yes, do it. Copy and without a time wastage, you copy complete job of compile into Jira. Everything you got it. Everything. Okay, everything you have it. And say done so there's a one test build i will do that to check that whether it's passing or thing okay so here is passed everything is great so guys i created one job in Jenkins. this is also done but this time i did through different method please remember that correct now Now, guys, this I am doing, you will not do that. Install Jira plugins. Can I go? Dashboard, manage Jenkins, and manage plugins. And here under the available tab, I will search for Jira. Now, guys, here you see so many Jira plugins has come. So now you'll say, Rajesh, which one I should opt for it? So there is no direct answer if I say this this or this. Why? Because you should read this detail in the new tab. Here, have a little bit of time. There are 1800 plus plugins. I can't tell you every plugins what is being doing. So how I find out that information? I read this knowledge, whatever we have. So right click and then read that knowledge and see that if it is serving your purpose, or not. So for time being, I know that I just need this plugin actually. Jira plugin. Okay. But for in for you, for yourself, if you are doing all this thing, you should please read this. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Yes. So Jira plugin is told without a restart. I did it. Just wait for a few seconds more.
and I installed it for everyone. So guys, this is also done and I completed that work. Are you okay so far? Hello? Yes. Now guys, we have to configure the plugin. Any idea where I should go to do configuration the plugin for entire Jenkins? Go to job. Go oh, job. Think and tell me. Configure the plugins. Configure the plugins. In dashboard, there is a configuration option is there. This is the one. Manage Jenkins. Configuration yes. system. So guys, earlier we did yesterday, we did GitHub, if you remember. And I think one participant also did that uh, Bitbucket. I remember he was asking some questions. So now I will install because I installed the Jira here, here. So I'll configure. Have a peace of mind, okay? And try to find out options automatically. You'll get it. Okay. Now, guys, here is a trick. Here. Do you see S? S means what? Here S multiple means multiple sites. Ah, so you can add multiple Jira here. So let me let me tell you straightforward. Okay, please do not mind. Do not use my Jira. So we have a same Jira server for all of us. Where is that? Here it is. But you will not use my configuration here. You will have your own using created using this input. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Okay. Yes. So please do not use my configuration. The Jira is same, but you have to you have to assume like, OK, we have a different different Jira and I have to add my own not using someone else. Simple. OK, so can I add the, my Jira? My Jira, I will have a URL. Link also same. And here, what kind of authentications you want? So I'll go for the HTTP authentication. That's easier, okay? And then, little bit of credential set here because HTTP authentication is there, no? So here, credential set. Now you'll say, Rajesh, which one you are checking, which one you are not checking? How do I remember? So for that, you need to. Look at this page and here. This page. Here, this one. Screenshot is attached. Are you seeing that guys? Hello? Yes. Yeah, so please refer this. Many people yesterday I saw that they are not looking at the screenshot. It's important, okay? So that way you'll be having little control. So now I'm adding a credential. So add a credential. Guys, you know what? I'm clicking on an add button, but nothing is happening. So then you'll say Rajesh, it's not working. So actually, there are few plugins which has a certain JavaScript conflict. So I will teach you work around for it. So you selected this, you fill this all this thing and save it. Again, go back. This is the tactics, OK? You won't find it in the Google, but while working with the Jenkins, you'll get to know. So again, go to the manage Jenkins. Again, go to the configuration. And again, look at locate the Jira. And here you have. Now, if you click, then you will be able to see that. Are you able to understand what I what I said? All of you. Hello. Yes. Yeah. 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 So go here. Username and password. Username username is uh, Rajesh and Rajesh one two three right? Yeah, easy to remember for me at least. And Rajesh one two three. And here ID I will Jira description Jira and add it. Now here select. Now carefully I'll go and validate the setting. And here success. That means everything is working fine. And save it. Now guys I must. B, reminding you do not use my Jira. You have to do your own. So my Jira is this one. Sorry, no, 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 this one. My Jira is this one. Okay. You have to use your own Jira. You have to create. How do you add your own Jira? You see this button? Add. 
all of you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, what you can also do that, uh, there's a identifications I want to add it, some description or something, which I'm not able to find it easily, but uh, that's okay. You add it yourself and then get used. Okay, so guys, that's the one step I completed. And that is this one. Okay, now last step, use Jira plugin in the job. Can I do that? All of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So for that, guys, I will go to say this, go to Rajesh go to Jira and Jira. See the theoretically, you know, build will fail. Then ticket will be created at the end of it. So which phase I should go? You tell me. Which tab? Post build. Actually. Post build. Action. Post build. Yes, post. Now guys, here post build action. This is for the sending an email. OK, now if you click on here, and have a little patience. What you can do, can you read it for me? I mean, without shouting. See here, you can create a issues. You can create a new version. You can mark a version as release. Many options are available, you see. I wanted to do create a issue. Now guys, here you have to fill this information. So anyone remember what was my key for the project? Raj. RHH. This one? No, capital. Yeah, capital. Excellent. Wonderful. You guys have a very good memory. Okay. And here, username of which who should be assigning it? My username Rajesh. in Jira is. Hello, everyone. If you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist of 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC. Kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlist and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.